Hey YouTube, so here we are with the 10 gallon aquaponics system um, first water quality test um, that I'm putting on the internet. So I use these Tetra Easy Strips. Um, they are, as they imply, very easy. All you do is you take them, you take them out, you dunk it in the water, and then you wait five minutes and you look at the colors. Um, I did two on this one today because I wanted to show a comparison. Um, the one on the left is from my outdoor system and the one on the right is from my indoor system that's just cycling now. And we're, what you want to pay attention to is the top two. I don't really care about the water hardness or the pH levels or anything else. Um, but the top one is the nitrate and that's what you want. That's the fish food. When your tank's fully cycled that one will be completely pink and the one just beneath it will be completely clear as you can see. The one below it is nitrite, it's NO2. That's the one that you don't want, that, that will kill the fish, and that's what happens during the cycle. The, the nitrite levels will build up, and eventually there will be another type of bacteria that will come through and convert that to nitrate. Um, and so you see the one from the tank inside. We actually have a little bit of nitrite. It's slightly pink. Um, but we do have some nitrates also in there, a uh, very small level. And most of that's probably due to the fact that I use some of the rock from my outdoor system in... Uh, the grow bed for this indoor system to kind of speed things along. So as a comparison, um, this is what you want. You want the second one to be completely clear, the top one like dark pink. Um, you don't want that, um, but even though it is problematic, it's just part of the way the system cycles naturally and it will go away, it will eventually become completely clear and hopefully we'll show that through these water quality tests. Um, so second thing we're going to move on to is ammonia. The ammonia is what the fish excrete into the water which starts off the whole cycle. And today's, this actually looks greener on, on this video than it does in real life for some reason. But you can see we have slightly elevated levels of ammonia. Um, but that's, that's nothing really to worry about. Um, it will get darker over time. And just as a comparison to something I said in one of my previous videos, when I try to use a system stabilizer control liquid that I bought at a Petco or somewhere, it's like a bacteria booster. Um, or any of those things for, the, for that matter, pH balancers or any of those chemicals that I put in my systems, um, they make this thing go completely into the dark, dark green, um, and I was unable to get the system back to, to stabilize after that. And I think a large part of that is due to the fact that I'm working with a very small amount of water in this experiment, just 10, 10 gallons. Um, so... That's it. Uh, this is the first water quality test. I'll probably be updating this weekly so we can kind of see a time progression of how the system stabilizes. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, there'll be more videos to follow and thanks for watching.